Fast roaming ensures customers enjoy uninterrupted streaming when moving around by switching clients automatically to the access points with the optimal signal. To use the fast roaming feature, ensure both APs and wireless clients support IEEE 802.11k and IEEE 802.11v. The 802.11k standard helps clients search quickly for nearby APs that are available as roaming targets by creating an optimized list of channels. When the signal strength of the current AP weakens, the clients will scan for target APs from this list. The 802.11v standard allows APs to influence client roaming behavior by providing them the load information of nearby access points. The clients will take this information into account when deciding among the possible roam targets. Fast roaming takes effect only when the Omada controller is running and managing the APs. If the controller is offline, the fast roaming feature will stop taking effect. Fast roaming requires the use of the Omada controller. Here, we use the Obata software controller for demonstration. You can also use other Omada controllers you may have. Step 1. Ensure the APs are managed by the controller. Launch your controller and enter the site view. Go to the Devices page. Make sure the APs are in the connected state. Step 2. Configure the wireless network for the APs. Go to Settings, Wireless Networks to check your wireless network. If there is no wireless network yet, create one first. Step 3. Enable the fast roaming feature. Go to Settings, Site. Enable Advanced Features, then enable Fast Roaming. You can also enable AI Roaming, Dual Band 11K Report, and Force Disassociation to facilitate Fast Roaming. AI Roaming is an algorithm developed by TP-Link to help provide better roaming performance. With this feature enabled, the controller will communicate with APs to collect some information then provide a dynamic and optimized suggestion for clients to roam. Generally, the controller provides a neighbor list that contains only neighbor APs in the same band with which the client is associated. With dual band 11K report enabled, the controller will provide neighbor lists that contain neighbor APs in both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. An AP typically only issues an 802.11v roaming suggestion. However, the client determines whether to roam or not. Some sticky clients may be reluctant to roam even when receiving weak signals from their suboptimal APs. Such clients will experience low wireless speeds and cause high wireless retransmission rates, which will further affect other clients and reduce the overall throughput of the network. To eliminate the influence of sticky clients, you can enable force disassociation, so the AP will force disassociate a client if it does not reassociate to another AP. Save the settings.